Hi everyone, so by this stage you should have your development environment set up and ready to go. And in this section we're going to create a demo app to learn the basics of React Native and Exponent. So the first thing we're going to do is start up Exponent and create a new project called Demo. And once that's created, we're going to make sure that XDE is set to dev mode. And then you're going to send the link to your mobile device like I demonstrated in the workflow video. And I'm going to use the simulator for recording purposes. And once that's booted up, let's open up the demo project in VS Code. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up the main.js file. and just delete all the template code that comes with an exponent project. So now we're going to rebuild our app line by line. So the first thing you need to know is that a React Native app is built using components. And components are like little pieces of template code that we can customize and arrange together to create our own unique app. For example, say we wanted to create a button component. First, we'd add a view component, which is React Native's container component. And then we drop in a touchable highlight, which is a component that responds to touches. And lastly, we drop in a text component so that we can label our button. So with the rest of this video, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to create a simple button. So first, let's create our main app component by typing class app extends component. So a component refers to the basic React components and we're extending it or building on top of it and we're calling that new component app. And class is just a programming term that means template or blueprint. So altogether, this means that we're creating a new component called app that builds on top of or extends the basic generic React component. And every component needs a render function that returns how we want our component to look and behave in the form of JSX. So JSX is just a syntax extension for JavaScript and it allows us to write simpler, more readable code. For example, a text component written in JSX looks like this with opening and closing tags and it will make our lives a lot easier when our code starts to get more complex. Great, so we've built the basic component but we still need to add a couple more things to get it to work. So firstly, we need to import this generic React component. See, we've referenced it here, but we haven't told our app where to find it. So we can do that by importing React and typing import React, comma, moustache brackets, component from React. You can see here we're using the moustache brackets to import the component module, and a module is just a chunk of code. So next, we'll import the text component by typing import moustache brackets text from React Native, which imports the React Native text component code by name. And finally, we need to tell Exponent that the app component we just made is the root component. And we can do that by first importing Exponent. And then at the bottom of the file, we'll type exponent.register root component, and we'll pass in the new app component we just built. Looks good. So let's hit save and see if it worked. Awesome. So it's working, but our text component is hiding up here in the top left of our app. And that's because we haven't added any styles. And we'll do that in the next video.